In our classrooms, when we ask students to raise their hand to ask a question, how many students get to participate? One, maybe two, but why can't everybody participate? How many of you, when you're put on the spot, you're not even sure what your own name is? Quick, what's the answer? I don't know, I can't think right now. Anxiety and stress is not the best opportunity for a student to give a thoughtful answer. So let's start by going to alicekiller.com slash coded by Alice. alicekiller.com slash coded by Alice. And you're able to see a list of all of my add-ons and none of them collect any user data. They are safe. They're designed by me, classroom teacher, and they're all for you to use as a teacher or a student. So you're gonna find uh, Popsicle Sticks form right down here, select it and go ahead and install. So we're gonna start with a new Google form. So go ahead and make a Google form and you're gonna go up here to the puzzle piece up here at the top and you look for Popsicle Sticks form. Clicking on that, you're gonna use setup. And that's gonna set it up so that you have what is your name is your student's name, response to question, and you can have extra questions if you want, but you only need two. So now that we have the two questions, you're gonna go ahead and share this with the students. Now you'll notice I just have response to question. I'm gonna leave it generic like that so that students can actually leave this Google form all the time, all year. So I'm gonna share with them for them to answer. And submit. After students have responded, you'll see that you have responses. I would recommend that you go to the responses tab and link to sheets. What that's gonna do is save those responses into a Google Sheet so you can have a list of all the students' participation for all the times that you use this form. Once you have the Google Sheet spreadsheet linked and you're only gonna have to do that one time, you're gonna be able to go up to the puzzle piece and choose Popsicle Sticks form. And this is gonna choose a random response out of all of your student responses. So everyone has participated and we're gonna share one student's response for them to elaborate on or just share their answer. So we're gonna share the response and we have Marcellus with his strategy and maybe we wanna now choose another student's response. So using my Popsicle Sticks, come back and show random response and you see it just comes right up here into this little pop-up and if you are displaying it then students will be able to read and see it or you can just read it out loud and ask Alice to elaborate. You're going to be able to reuse this same form as many times as you want. Simply go up to the puzzle piece and go to popsicle sticks form and ask another question. All that's going to do is erase the responses. So you see I had three responses. It's going to confirm that I really want to do that. And they are cleared. And now I say I have no responses. So the students would then fill out the form again to allow me to ask my question, have them fill it out, and for us to choose a random response to go over together. 